Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat with Shaken. I hope all is well with you guys, and I hope that you guys are headed for a beautiful weekend, okay? Thanks for joining me again. Thank you for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate it. All the super thanks, all of the kind words, the cool comments, and everything like that, all right? And I have went through the comment section to delete any trolls. Okay, so um, I got some more energy for you and um, the energy I'm picking up on is obsession. I have some child messages, but I'll drop those messages as I go through this reading. All right. And one of the messages that I picked up on is that CPS is involved because someone could have been doing drugs during a pregnancy and there could have been a child that was born with drugs in their system. Okay, there could have been a child born with drugs in the system and the hospital could have called CPS in regards to this situation. I kept picking up on CPS and that's the story that I'm getting. Okay, um, I get another energy that somebody is overly obsessed with you to the point that they're addicted to you. All right, this could be a male and a um, female. This could be a couple. This could be a lot of different people. It's a lot of jealousy. It's a lot of envy. Somebody is definitely tracking you, trolling you. All right? I feel like you have checked out of a situation ship a long time ago. You checked out. But somebody is trying to check you back in to some bullshit. But it's arterial motives behind the situations. And that's what Divine is saying right here. Okay? Divine is here because they see somebody's intentions towards you. It could be this weekend. Look at this. All right, you got a guardian angel and you got angelic protection. Okay, so definitely Mark, Archangel Michael is here. Okay, the king of swords energy from Archangel Michael because he feel like he got to defend you in the situation. Somebody won't stop fucking with you. Okay, <clears throat> somebody's definitely stalking you and watching you. I feel like his plan, plot, and strategize energy is here you can't trust anybody at this time i feel like um somebody is is being sent to you to manipulate you somebody's trying to catch you alone take you out on a date somebody trying to get you in a car alone you know and let you invite them into your home it's something behind all of this i think it's a ploy and whatever decision you choose choose wisely because i feel like this decision also could affect your life or in your fucking life all right? It's the setup here. And I think that somebody trying to do it with love or play on love. Okay? So look at this. I got Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is here. Now, this is somebody who's pissed off, but look at that. It's somebody else in the background back there. Okay? And this is High Priestess energy. You're a High Priestess. Excuse me. You're a High Priestess. I got a B and a J that you need to be curious about, use your intuition about, okay? Somebody looking for answers in a situation. It's a lot of answers. It's a lot of shit, all right? And this is mastery. Somebody mastered, all right, their transition, okay? Having answers, finding clarity. Somebody found a, a solution to their problems here. And somebody closed out this cycle from the past, okay? And it was a lot of delays due to this. Somebody was frustrated about some type of results that they find. Somebody kept holding up a situation, putting something off here. But something could have finally came through. It's a rival in this situation. Okay? And like I said, you guys could have walked away from this situation a long time ago. But somebody um, is so obsessed with you that they wouldn't let you leave the situation. They don't want to leave your energy. All right? I feel like it's a feminine energy. That's trying to hold on to you. Stronger than a masculine energy. Okay? And I feel like you're not a rival to anyone. But somebody see you as their rival. Because they have you stuck in their head. Alright? Every day. And somebody see you as a rival. And you're not even there. You're not even around. You're not even competition. You're not even playing this game. You're not even communicating with anybody. But somebody is so obsessed with you and your energy and your lifestyle that they have made you like their competition in their head. Okay? Um, somebody right here has chosen um, their convenience over heart. So somebody stayed in a relationship out of convenience. 
They chose convenience with this rival instead of what was in their heart. Okay? They chose that convenience instead of what was in their heart right here. Yeah, somebody's obsessively addicted to you. They want to call you here. You know, and you're going to be like, hmm. Hmm. You're not sure. Okay? And this is, but somebody think they know how to play you. All right? Somebody can have pink hair. Okay? And this is you being your best without this person. And that's what Divine is saying. You could have been feeling okay. You could have been reestablishing your life. You know, you could have been getting a new start here. And you finding that you're okay being single here. And you know that you are wifey material to someone who's going to respect you and appreciate you. And then somebody right here, you know, chose to be in a relationship, but now they're not happy. And that's not your, you know, deal. Because you could have said, fuck this person and moved on with your life here, okay? And because you knew somebody was wearing a mask in a situation. You knew somebody was wearing a mask right here and you let go of this person, okay? And you walked away from this and somebody could be trying to send you telepathic communication. But you went into all of your own, you found, you start checking yourself out. You start finding your self-love, your value, your worth, 11-11 here. And then, you you know, you feel like you're going to have a happy ending now. You're feeling free. You feel like something is finally over for you and you accept and change in your life. All right? Out of all this conflict, look at this. A completion. Something is finally over. And you could be headed towards your abundance now. 888 is what you could be seeing. All right? But somebody's definitely trying to keep you stuck in here. It's a lot of pride and animosity going on here. And right and a lot of hate and envy but i feel like you're not even someone's competition all right but the only reason you are because it has something to do with either a life insurance policy an inheritance it has something to do with court proceedings definitely finances okay stealing all right and that's what this has to do with. And that's why somebody don't want you around. Somebody is going to stop at nothing to try to take you out. They're not, they're, it's not over. It might be, you might be cool for 30 days, but they still trying to come back at you. And that's their intent. Because somebody don't want you to have what is rightfully yours. Somebody don't want you to live better than they do. And somebody's scared that they got to get up off their ass and get a job. And work for a living like America do. Okay. Now somebody is so hateful, they terrorizing people by hacking the shit out of them. Somebody is so hateful that they get a rise out of knowing what's going on with your life. Somebody's looking through your pictures on your phone. Somebody's reading every message you send someone. Someone has your phone basically cloned. Okay. They could turn on and off your phone. All right, so the first card out here is Queen of Wands. All right, yes, I am the Queen of Wands. All right, but this is, things are going to balance out here. Things could be balancing out here. All right, and because somebody was juggling. All right, you could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sag, the Queen of Wands energy. But somebody was juggling things, trying to balance out two relationships, a double life. And you could have said, fuck that. All right, so let's see what's going on here, Holy Spirit, with this angelic protection. <laughs> yes, <laughs> justice. Justice is being served all over the place right now, okay? I don't know if this was a message for me, Holy Spirit, but okay. But justice right now is being served all over the place. And that's what Divine is saying. Could you please clarify this angelic protection here? This angelic protection. <laughs> This angelic protection, Holy Spirit. Yes, page of pentacles. So this could be some type of message coming to you. This could be some good news. Your work, a position, your child. All right, it's protected. All right, and look at this. If you look at this in her hand, it's something about Christmas here, her symbol. So if you're planning something during Christmas, I feel like you're protected. All right, clarify this page of pentacles for this angelic protection, Holy Spirit. Where's this page of pentacles here? Yes, that's the truth, what I said. 
Ace of Swords. Okay? If you're planning something for Christmas, you're protected. A child, some good news that's coming your way, some type of job that's coming your way, an opportunity that's coming your way, it's all protected. And that's what Divine is saying. That's some truth. If somebody's going to have surgery, that's protected. And your truths are protected. You know the truth. All right? And that's what Divine is saying. This power and attention, Holy Spirit. What is this power and attention? They know somebody's intentions towards you. They know what's up right here. They know what's going on. All right? So it's the King of Cups right here. A Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Divine know what's going on with this person. Please clarify the King of Cups. All right? A victory. So this person will have a victory or is looking for a victory in a situation here. I don't know because this person is a dark angel. This is a fallen angel. This King of Cups. So this person is looking for a victory, but they had carried dark energy. All right? They carry in this dark energy here. This is a dark fallen angel. Holy Spirit, what is this guardian angel? All right, so a knight of cups. This is a player. So it's something going on here with the knight of cups, the king of cups. You protected from this energy. All right, somebody want to come in here like they changed, like they missed the lover lover. You protected from some energy that is now a dark angel. Okay, Holy Spirit, clarify this knight of cups. Yeah, because they, they're working together with the Queen of Pentacles. All right? They're working together with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? You protected from this energy. All right? Now, the other energy is you could be the Knight of Cups. You could be the Queen of Pentacles. And you are protected. It depends on what side you fall on. Okay? If you are here doing fuck shit, then Divine is protecting us from you. All right? If you caught up in some shit, then you're being protected. Okay? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like this King of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles is together. And they're working against. Okay? This is competition. Rivalry. And Divine said they're protecting you from these two people. Thank you for your confirmation. Yes, because you need to use your intuition. Something ain't right about these two people. The Queen of Pentacles and this Knight of Cups. Okay? Somebody is a player. I feel like these two, this is a couple. Yes, and this is they under investigation here because somebody been doing shit to the Empress. Okay, this could be a couple that's been doing shit to the Empress. Okay, and you're protected, Empress. Somebody trying to get you caught up in some bullshit. And here is the justice card. All right, justice is being served in the situation here. And that's what Divine wants you to know. A lot of truths are coming out right here. All right, something could be about somebody's child as well. Your child is protected. I keep getting this child. If you got a, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, it's something about a child here that's being protected here, okay? From a dark angel. Clarify this dark angel, Holy Spirit. Clarify this dark angel. Uh-huh. They're trying to take a leap of faith in a new direction. This person could be coming towards you looking for a victory, all right? Yeah, four wands. Something is about a marriage, a relationship. Somebody could already be married or in some type of commitment here. Somebody feel like you could be their soulmate, but they already hooked up with somebody else. Okay? You could have said, fuck you to this energy. Okay? Divine is here protecting you. Please know that. Okay? Holy Spirit, please let us know the messages that we need to know. All right? Um, what's going on with this rival, Holy Spirit? What's going on with this rival? All right? I tell you, somebody see you as competition and you're nowhere on the scene. You're not even in a race. All right? Somebody's coming to tell you a bunch of fucking lies here is what I see. Please clarify. This rival, this is just sexual energy. This person is very seductive. That's who this rival is, okay? Yes, this rival is trying to corrupt or intervene with a spiritual journey. Or could have told this person that they're the one that they're supposed to be on a journey with. Okay? Yes. This um, masculine, all right, is with this rival. And it's for sexual energy. Okay? They could have bypassed or given up a spiritual journey for a sexual rival. Yes. They want to surrender now. 
okay? So they could be with this rival for sexual energy, all right? They bypassed the spiritual journey, but now they want to come back and surrender to it, is what I see, okay? Yes, because they're coming from their higher self at this time, okay? They want to come from their higher self here. Somebody did some work on themselves. Yes, they want a victory. That's why Six of Wands is here. All right, so the King of Cups could be half healed from a situation. Maybe they are offering authentic love. The Knight of Cups is more of a player energy. The King of Cups is something more authentic. All right, yeah, look at this, because they could have did some healing work on themselves. All right, this, this masculine that was with this rival for sexual purposes here. Yes, and they could be ascending to a higher level at this time. Whoever this divine masculine is right here. All right. What else we need to know? They could be trying to connect with you in a 5D connection at this time here. Yes. And they could also be daydreaming of you and sending you telepathic energies. Okay. That's what they got going on here. All right. What else we need to know? What else we need to know, Holy Spirit? What's going on here? Yeah, so somebody's hoping for a miracle in a situation here. And somebody is definitely spying on you. And it's this rival who is obsessed with you, all right? Somebody's wearing a mask about how they feel about you, all right? Yeah, and because somebody kept wearing a mask, you told them, fuck you, all right? Fuck you. And you walked away from this person, and you let go. And now they're sending you telepathic communications, all right? And they're trying to confuse you, but they're confused. All right? They're confused. They could be under some type of fog, some type of confusement. Confusing. <laughs> confusement. They could be confused under some type of fog, some type of spell work. All right? Yes. They need to ground themselves here. Go out in nature, you know, and rewind type of stuff and find self-love. Is what Divine is saying right here. And also, this is the same energy for this rival who needs to go out and do the same. And also, um, work on their inner childhood wounds is what I'm seeing here. All right? Because this rival is very hateful and very bitter at this time. Okay? Holy Spirit, what is the energy of this rival? Give me some more messages here. All right? They pissed off for one. Okay? They is definitely offering seduction and temptation at this time. What is this rival's energy? Yes, uh, no further progress, no further action, self-imposed restrictions, and feeling stuck in the stalemate energy with this relationship here, with this masculine. They feel like it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's love or money. They know that they was chosen for love or money. Um, Somebody chose money, as you see. All right, they could be kicking out some cash. They could be supporting this masculine here. All right, but deep in their heart, they know that this masculine is in love with someone else. It's difficult to choose. This person could have two lovers right now, and somebody don't want to let them go. All right, and this is what they settle for. Somebody who is in um, a double life type of energy, a third parties. All right, I feel like you're not there, okay? And somebody's not using protection in a situation. Somebody could be having somebody pregnant or have contracted an STD is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, somebody wants to be happy. They want to choose love, all right? Somebody's trying to gain clarity, got an epiphany in a situation here, all right? But somebody's very desperate and clingy and won't let somebody go. Somebody worried about their career, their finances, their income. All right, yeah, and somebody want everybody to win in the situation. It's like somebody want to have their cake and eat it too. You know, have two people and all get together and everybody's happy here. Yeah, but somebody also wants to prepare for a union. They want to let somebody go here, but they don't want to um hurt their feelings. Type of energy is what I'm feeling. Okay, they don't want to hurt their feelings, but they don't want to be with them anymore here. And if something is worth waiting for. They hope that you waited. It. It's been a long time because somebody just wanted to go out and do them and hook up and, you know, in different type of relationships. Somebody's trying to clean up their phone, delete text messages and calls, secret apps. This person also could have a second phone, a second phone number. Somebody's deleting everything here. Okay, they don't want to get caught here. 
somebody's really, really planning out some shit here. But I still feel like your sneaky energy here. Yeah, they trying to clean up for a faded love. A life partner, a soulmate. This love will help you grow an instant, deep connection. Somebody want a whole new life. They want to clean out everything of the past. And they want to move forward with their life. Okay? This person wants to come in and apologize to you and say that they sorry here. They want to apologize and they want to win. This person is obsessed, concerned about what you got going on here. Yeah, but they keep getting baited in the situation. All right? They keep getting seduced right here. Okay? And right here, they got their toxic-ass friends right here. Throwing shit on them and telling them what to do and keep interfering in their love life right here. They regret that they let their friends come in and do this. You know, they feel guilty about how things played out with you two, all right? Because they still stuck with this crush on you. They still secretly admiring you from afar. They wondering if you're in any relationships, all right? But this person is completely exhausted, all right? They had a breaking point right here. They tired of living this double life. It's just too much drama on both sides, but this is what they chose, all right, this person is codependent, have a codependency problem. All right, they scared of change. Okay, they scared of change right here. This person is used to attention. They don't know how to be without intention, without um, attention. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is these energies? Yes, their environment is the problem. And that's what Divine is saying. Their environment is the problem right here. Yes, and they need to change their environment. This is what the problem is, is what Divine is saying here. What is these energies? Yes, they need to be their own individual self and not codependent and a people pleaser upon others. Okay? Yes, and this is how they can regain their abundance. Okay? They have to work on themselves. Yes, in a spiritual partnership is what Divine is saying. All right, things have to be closed out here, okay? Yes, and it all starts with this forgiveness. Somebody needs forgiveness here. I feel like you have forgiven this person and moved on with your life. This person is still stuck on you. I hear Kenny Rogers stuck on you. That's all I know, all right? And um, intuition, 11-11. Somebody needs to use their intuition. You could be on point with your intuition. You you see stuff. You You can read people. You pick up on energies really heavily here. Yes, you're ready for an adventure here. You guys could be seeing 555. It's something coming in close contact here. Your own individual self willing to change, okay? Your environment, okay? And this is with forgiveness and self-discipline. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And go out and get into nature and grow yourself. And that's all divine is saying. Life is about self-discipline. A series of choices and experiences. All right. But you have to make sure that you know about consequences as well. Okay. What else we need to know, Holy Spirit? All right. All right. So, y'all, it's time for you to lead the way. It's time for you to put on your crown. Instead of falling into situations, realize you have the power to pick and choose. Which men, which women are worth your time and energy? Okay? So you have to pick and choose. And don't be afraid to go outside the box. Spending more time out in nature will help you take the pressure off of love. All right? You won't be so pressed about love right now. Because love right now is a hot mess. Somebody's relationship has gotten so messy. It's too many outside influences. But love always come clean and pretty. All right, love will rise again after you become stronger. Because right now, somebody's love life is just a fucking mess. All right? And take this time to beautify yourself. Learn who you are. Love yourself. You know, do masks. Go out for walks and jogs. Um, eat healthy. Drink more water. You know, find a beauty within you. Okay? Start loving yourself more. You know, uh, do your feet, do your nails, just do stuff, save money, and just work on you, okay? That's what I have for you guys for this video, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.